What's up guys, it's BT here and welcome to my setup tour 2019. I think it's been about two years since I did my last one and you guys deserve an update. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but it's like they say, good things come to those who wait. So without any further ado guys, let's get into the setup tour. I was starving, now I'm mean to my belly flow. My belly flow. From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat. Scared to end up on a shirt before it's in the fold. Devil on my back, talking. Alright, guys, so starting off with the room tour, this is my door, and I have this little hanger here which uh, holds all my shoes because I try to maximize as much space as I can. And uh, if I had all these shoes, I got like Yeezys, I got boots, I got Clarks, I got uh, the Air Max 97 Golds, some of my favorite shoes. I got the Air Max uh, 270s right there. So uh, I try to maximize as much space as possible. So I have this door hanger that hangs all of my shoes. I have more than this uh, somewhere in the closet. But... All right, so you guys might recognize this from the video. Um, I forget what the name of the company is called. I'll link it down below, but uh, everything will be linked down below except for the shoes. You can't really buy the. But anyways, uh, this has two rings on it, not just one. And I like it because it gives my room a nice warm glow on this side of the room. Nice, calming, creative. So I love it. Moving on to this side, we have the pegboard. Now I got this pegboard from Ikea. It's awesome just to store like random stuff that I'm not using. So I have headphones. I got the 1770Xs. I got the DT990s. I got just some random cables that I use for recording. I got a G Pro, no, G703 cord here. So it just holds a lot of stuff. Tape. In these little containers here, I have a lot of like different odd things, nothing really too crazy. Like I have straps here for uh, the Shure mic. I have some Allen wrenches, a lot of different things in this. It's just a great all around like piece to have in your room because it can just keep stuff off the floor. I got some pins here. Uh, I got some clippers here. So just a lot of cool stuff that you can just hang onto this pegboard. So over on this side, we have a wireless printer. It's the HP Tango. Now I use this mostly to uh, do all my scripts. So when I am preparing for a video, I'll type everything out and then I'll print it out. That's how I know I'm done. And then I go and do the video. So this is key to have. Um, it's wireless, so one less wire to worry about. I love it. Okay, moving over to this side, we have the Focusrite. This is a Scarlett Solo. This is plugged into my Shure mic over here. Uh, this bad boy right here. This is what I used to do all of my voiceovers. I do um, All of my streaming using this mic. Let me focus that and uh, it's on this Rode PSA one mic boom or mic boom stand Was that what it, mic mic boom mic boom stand? Okay, anyways, yeah moving along we have this beautiful uh, Logitech C22, I believe this is my hand cam. So if you ever watch a uh, stream this is pointing down, getting all of my uh, arm action, keyboard action, wrist action, mouse action. Yeah, mouse action. So that's that. And it, that just points right down here and it gets everything. And then we have the brains of my setup. This is my PC right here. This is the uh, build that I did, the Aorus build. It's a 9900K. Um, it has a 2080 graphics card. It has 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD down there. And I put in some extra storage uh, when I updated it. So I put another four terabyte drive in there. And then I have six LL120s. Gotta love IQ software, but uh, these are some of my favorite fans that I use on like almost all of my builds. Even on my last build, that's what I used. And I plan on water cooling this at some point. Uh, it'll be my first water cool. I'm kind of scared, but uh, I'm looking forward to the task probably next year when I have more time. So yeah, that is my PC. So the other camera that I use is the A7S II. Now this is plugged into a continuous power source, so it's a dummy battery. And then on this side, uh, it's plugged into a Elgato uh, capture card in my computer, so I can get really, really high quality with this on my streams. Love it. All right, then moving over to my audio setup. Now this is a RME ADI2 DAC sitting on a THX AAA 789 and this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love this setup because I can get two different sound signatures from them. So I have one that's more sterile and then I can also go in here and change the complete sound of this using an EQ. It has an onboard EQ. So I love this thing. So I can plug it here or I can plug it in the one down here. 
Then I also have options for balanced as well here. So a lot of flexibility with this setup as far as audio goes. I haven't felt the need to get anything else after I've tried this. As you see here, I have a lot of cords like towards the back of my like monitors and stuff. Because I switched my monitors out so much for testing, uh, I've just decided not to even try to contain them. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but I just, I don't, I don't even bother anymore. I gave up on that. So back here we have the Pebbles. Now these are an amazing set of speakers. They're like 20 bucks and I highly recommend them. I put them on my top five tech one month and this one like they sound really good for like music and movie listening because generally we're all going to be using our headphones we just need something for when we need a break from our headphones and we don't need anything too crazy unless you're an audiophile but but in my case i just use these when i need to now over here we have the show five so this is my alexa so this controls all my lights alexa turn bedroom off So that just controls all my lighting in my room, uh, which is nice when I'm filming. I can change the color and things like that. Alexa, turn bedroom on. Because we are in my bedroom right now. My room is actually not that big compared to like, what people probably think it is. I'm not in like some huge office. So <laughs> I have to deal with like space, space issues all the time. Now back here, a lot of people have been asking about these, which are my monitor arms so these monitor arms are by uplift desk which is the desk that we are using currently i'll get into that towards the end of the uh, setup so this is the monitor that i use mostly this is for gaming this is the binq 24 fit no this is the binq 2546 xl no xl 2546 monitor uh it's 240 hertz diac all that good stuff i love that monitor to death i can't game on anything else. I've tried to go back down to 144. I just can't do it. So next up, we are moving over here. This is my other monitor. So I do all of my video editing on this monitor. This is the LG 4K 27 inch monitor. I love this thing. It's color accurate. Uh, it's 4K so I can see my footage the way it's meant to be seen. I love it. Very, very sharp monitor. Uh, I'll link that down. Uh, I'll link everything down below the model numbers and all that good stuff. All right, so here we have my anchor phone charger. So this is just a wireless charger that I have on my desk uh, whenever I need to charge my phone. Simple enough. Then moving on here, we have the Tomon lamp that you know everybody has. This, yeah, everybody has this thing, and this has a Lifex on there. Uh, so I switched over recently from the Philips Hue to Lifex because of this. Along the back side, you can have multiple colors. On uh, Philips Hues, you cannot do that. I don't know why you can't with the light strips, but they do not allow you to do that. Uh, but these are pretty expensive uh, for the light strips. They're like 90 bucks. So I still have some Philips Hues from my old setup, setup uh, which you'll see later. So next up, we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite thing, their favorite topic. These are the Quasar RGB light bars. Now these are for video, so they're pretty expensive at $450. You can change a lot of the settings. You can do a ton of different modes from flickering to light to a fireplace effect to strobing to paparazzi to, there's just a lot of different uh, effects you can scroll through and do different colors as well. And it has this little nice LCD screen on here as well. So you can change through all of that very easily. Change the saturation, the color, the hue. These things are super customizable. So uh, I love these things to death. They're really expensive, but uh, for me, it was well worth it, especially if you're somebody that does video. Okay, so next we have these posters right here. These people love these posters. I actually got these. I have a little like spot here <laughs> that I need to cover up with paint because I, I used to have a TV here and I took it down to put these posters up. So <clears throat> I have these posters and this it's a funny story. I got these at a like discount store. They were like seven bucks and they had even more, but I was like, you know what? Nah, I'll just get these four just to test it out. And I'm kicking myself because I could have got more. You can buy these on Amazon, but they're like 20, 25 bucks. And I got these for like $7, but I love them. Uh, Thor, some of my favorite Marvel, you know, Thor is probably my favorite Marvel movie currently. Uh, Captain America, you got Batman, classic. Uh, I love what it says on here. I'll show you guys.
Yeah, I that's this is my favorite poster right here. I love it just because of the action scene. And then you got Spider Man over here. These are the OG comic book plaques. Uh, and I'll link these down below as well. Before we get into my peripherals, uh, these are my headphones. Everybody knows these are the HD 800S's. I love these things. Very open, uh, very good sound stage. So they work nicely with the ADI, AD, RME. I don't even know anymore. Anyways, we are moving over to my mouse and keyboard setup. Right now, I have been working on a video on this one. This is the Think 6.5. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what's in it, but I'll just show it. But this is my favorite keyboard of the year right here. Um, it does have the GMK Metropolis set on there with the, the Science Extras. All right, then let's talk about my favorite keyboard cable. This is from Space Cables. They make some of the best cables that I've ever used. The coils are super tight. Uh, it's USB-C, and it looks great on your desk. Uh, it almost matches every single keycap set that I have. Uh, I do want to get a new one, <coughs> Space Cables. <clears throat> and then we got the Skeletor Thor pad. This has slowly become one of my favorite pads. And once I get used to a pad, I really don't like to switch. And I love how smooth it is. It, it glides great, and uh, especially with this bad boy. So this is the S2. I went back to it recently because uh, I went I switched off of fingertip grip back to claw grip. It already has the hyperglides on there. It's got the paracord, everything set up. I love this mouse to death. People were all like excited about weight, and I know this wasn't on my top five uh, because you have to like you know it has that rubber cord and stuff. So I didn't put it on there. But for me, after modding, this is one of the best claw grip mice you can buy. Oh, my computer is sitting on an Alex drawer. I'm not gonna show you the drawers because they're pretty messy but this is my passport pretty cool it's the uh mario but i just have a bunch of like odd things in here wrenches i got my unboxing knife right here uh, a lot of random stuff in here i don't really uh yeah i don't yeah i'm not i'm like i've never been good with drawers i don't know about you guys anyways we're gonna be talking about my desk so this is the uplift v2 bamboo uh and this has it's a sit stand desk so i'm able to we gotta make sure nothing's falling uh move this up and down usually i stand when i edit so i can dance and edit so <laughs> that i love having a sit stand desk it's nice not to be like sitting down all day like editing gaming so it's very nice to have so I have a power strip back here that has everything and I have like stuff dangling usually because I'm testing so much stuff. If this was just my only desk, so when I do have a kind of like a, a setup desk where I test stuff at, uh, this will change. But for now I have a bunch of stuff hanging because I'm always switching out monitors and I'm always switching out stuff. So I'm just showing you guys the real deal. And then I have this little uh, raceway right here. This has been amazing. Uh, the cables can go through, like so, and uh, yeah, I, I love having this raceway. Uh, it's been better before, but I've just been switching out stuff so much that, uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, and then we have this cool little, this is my foot uh, rest under my desk, and it rocks. You can either rock, or you can have it just be soft like like so. Really sick. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about my nano leaf. We're gonna move along from the desk and go to the nano leaf. Hopefully, I've covered everything on the desk that you guys would want to see. But this is just a B in the shape of a nano leaf. My girlfriend got this for me, and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty sick. It offers a little bit of a backsplash when I'm doing like streaming, uh, so it's kind of cool. It just cycles through the different colors, gives me a nice backdrop. It's a win-win. All right, so next up, we're gonna move over. Now I have a light strip back there that's the Philips Hue one that I still have probably gonna change that out um, but these are my Yamaha HS8 HS8 these things are huge they have a lot of power they sound really really good uh, this is my vinyl setup so this side of the room is just purely for like music listening and for me to like just relax and uh, listen to music something I love to do um, and I collect a lot of these uh, vinyls uh, so I, I really like getting like colored vinyls, like just different kind of vinyls. Um, I have probably over, I think, 200, 300 vinyls. And I listen to everything. Like I got Juice World, I got Jaden Smith, Cascade, Dead Mouse, Death Cat for Cutie. 
uh, Gar- uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Major Laser. I got some J. Cole. Uh, I listen to everything. So, yeah, I got a little Uzi, everything in there. I got Russ. Yeah, so lots of different stuff there. And then moving over here, we have my... Uh, this is the Prefono. So this goes to my... Um, my planner p2 I f- oh yeah, i forgot to say that so this is my planner p2 this is my uh vinyl player it's considered to be one of the best vinyl players you can buy it's a rega um and then that's plugged into here and this is my amp this is the deckard from odyssey and this just allows me to plug in my headphones or increase the volume to my yamahas as well so very versatile i love it then down here we have the bt sign and then in here, I just have a bunch of, like, different camera equipment. <sighs> I have a bunch of camera equipment. So I have, like, this handle here for, like, a tripod. And then we got the lifeline. We got the plant. We got another Ikea plant there. And, yeah, that, so that's my uh, vinyl setup right there. This is just the area that I love to, like, listen to music. I'll just bring some headphones over here and just chill. So this is my favorite amp ever made. This is the Mainline Bottlehead. Now, this doesn't get too much play because it's so big, or else I would use it on my desk. It's a tube amp. It makes everything sound so crispy. I love it. Definitely recommend if you're looking for something to be your in-game amplifier. This thing fits the bill and more. And once I get a bigger setup, I'll probably move this back onto my desk because it's that good. I can't live without it. What's this? This is my Herman Miller M-Body Amazing Chair. Uh, I know it runs for like $1,300, but if you can, find it at a liquidation place because I got this one for about 400 bucks, and it's been with me ever since. It was pretty much brand new. I love it. It's so comfortable. I can sit in it for hours and not even have to worry about my back hurting when I get up. Also, it's super breathable, so it has this nice mesh material. I think it's mesh, but it's super breathable, very thin, so during, it gets hot here in California, and I really... I've always switch back to this one because it's so breathable uh other leather chairs they get way too hot during the summer for me so yeah all right so next up we have my keyboards so these are all my keyboard well, not all my keyboards i shouldn't say all but these are some of my favorites that have you know kind of hold a special place in my heart we have the skeletor build so when i'm not using them i switch them off they're sitting on these little book stands i'll link down below because i know a lot of people on twitter were asking me about that um, and then this is my striker with, uh, GMK striker set with the acrylic that I built. This is the high profile alt, uh, with the red sun, uh, samurai keycap set. This is the alt non -lo the low profile, I should say, uh, with the bento GMK. And then this is the matrix keycaps with the ducky one too many, the OG ducky one too many, the one that started all my keyboard reviews popping off. So yeah, gotta have the goat on there. And then up top here, we have just like my lenses. I kind of just throw up here. Um, yeah, I just I just kind of throw all my lenses up here. This is one of my favorite lenses. This is the Canon 2.8 100 millimeter macro lens. So all those close shots you see on the channel. It's with this bad boy. Another lens that um, a lot of people, I get, a lot of questions about how I get like bokeh in my shots. This is the 51.2, which is super, super wide. Uh, I love this lens. Uh, it's responsible for a lot of the dope shots, like especially the ducky one too many white video. I shot primarily with this lens. Then I got like a drone up here, a Mavic 2 or Mavic 1 that I never use, but I want to use more. I got the Winston Funko Pop up here. This is like a the giant one, love it. And then underneath, this is, area is kind of still a work in progress. I have a light strip here, LifeX. I still need to like deal with that cord and figure out a way to kind of mask it so it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, but yeah, that's the keyboard area. So last but not least, we have my mice. So all of my mice are in these little compact boxes from Ikea, which I'll link down below. I saw somebody on Reddit post this. Uh, post these I'll show some clips but essentially I have all my mice packed away I used to have them like in my drawer and it was just too messy the cords would get everywhere even if I tied them up so it's kind of nice having them in their own little box that they can live and 
have their own space, you know? Uh, and eventually what I want to do is I want to label each box so I know exactly what's in there because I I probably have, like, well, let's see, close to, like, 50 mice in here. Um, I've kind of given away all my extra mice, but I got, like, the final mouse in here, like, all of my mice. And I'll show you guys some clips of, like, all the different mice. But, yeah, that's where those live. I got some lighting stuff up here, some extra stuff. I got my clothes. I forgot to talk about this thing. This is from Japan. This is really cool. This is a one piece flag that I found at a Japanese store. Um, pretty sick. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup tour. It has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I was starving, now I'm mean to my belly full From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat Scared to end up on a shirt before a centerfold Devil on my back, target on me, deadly too Play for keys, don't tweet